In this video, I'm going to show you how to sort information inside of Smartsheet. Now, this is really important if you need to sort your data or your rows um, by maybe the status or state they're in, or maybe by alphabetically or by date. And so I'll show you how to do that. Now, I'm using the Team Task List by Priority template that you can find in the Solution Center if you want to load that up and follow along. And I did make some extra rows inside of here. So you'll see rows 14, 15, and 16 have been added. And uh, I just went ahead and just filled in some random information, names that were already there. I picked some dates and, and chose a couple different things here. But uh, this will just help uh, show you this a little easier. It gives us a little more information to work with. Let's say that we wanted to organize the state column so that the greens are together, the yellows are together, and the reds are together. And we want to sort these um, together. So we're going to go up to the column. We're going to click on the three dot column menu, and then you're going to go down and click on sort rows. This is going to bring up a dialog box and it's going to ask us what item we would like to sort. Now we are on the state column and so that's the one being listed. If we hit the drop down menu, you can choose any one of the columns that you would like to. Then it's going to ask us, do we want to sort in ascending order or descending order? And then it asks if we want to sort by any other means. So we can sort by multiple types of columns. And we'll take a look at that in a minute. But let's just go ahead right now and just sort the state column in ascending order and hit OK. Now when we do, you're going to notice a couple things. One, the sorting only happens within the parent row. So you can see that we have a parent row and then we have child rows and then we have a parent row here and child rows and we know that they're parent rows because these are indented and there's a minus sign. If I click on that, it will collapse all the children underneath this parent row. And so what happens is when this sorts, it will actually sort inside of those parent rows. Uh, rows here. So you can see that these were sorted inside of this parent row, but the whole column was not necessarily sorted together. Um, now, if we had, you know, reds, yellow circles on top of these uh, parent uh, rows here, those would be sorted also, but we don't. So they're going to sort within these. So another thing you'll notice is that the way that the state was sorted, when we went into ascending order, it started with the red and then went yellow and then went to green. And that is the way the data is sorted inside of Smartsheet based on this type of column. Now, I refer you to uh, Smartsheet's Help Center if you would like to see how different data types are sorted. They have an article that will talk about how you can sort all these and the way that they are sorted, but we'll take a look at some of them now. So if we go back up, we click on that column menu and we go back down to sort rows. Let's change this to sort descending. And you can see that it will now put green and then yellow and then red. And so that's how we can sort that column uh, based on that type of information. Let's say that we want to sort alphabetically. So what's going to happen is it's going to sort either the um, the alphabetical letters first and then the numbers or the numbers and then the letters. But basically it will sort this information. So let's say that we have these tasks here and they're out of order and we want to put them back in order one through six. Well, again, we can go up to the column. We can click on the column menu and go to sort rows. We want to make sure we have task selected, which we do, and we want to sort by ascending and we hit OK. Now you can see that it sorted those rows in ascending order. Task 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, it did it alphabetically and then it found the numbers and sorted those based on that information. You also notice that it also sorted all of these parent rows too. So H comes before L and M, so this got sorted and then the low priority L and then medium priority M because they're alphabetized it sorted those and you can see completed with the C's at the top here. Maybe that's not what we wanted to do. Maybe we only wanted to sort these rows and not the parent rows also. So how can we do that? We'll go ahead and hit command Z on Mac or control Z on a PC and that will undo and you can sort just the rows that you want to. We don't have to sort the whole column. We can go over here to column 11. We can left click and then we can go down to column 16. We can hold shift and left click again. And then we can go to the row menu, the three dots on any one of these and left click. And then we can go to sort rows. 
Now, we need to say, how are we sorting these rows by? Are we doing it by state, by task, and so forth? Well, again, we are sorting under the task column because we want these to be in order and they are under the task column. So sort items by, and then we'll hit task in ascending order and hit OK. Now you can see it just sorted those rows and put them in ascending order based on the task column, and that's what we want. The same thing would happen with assign to. So if we sorted this row, you could do the names in order that you want to. If we do something like these flags, you can go to sort rows, and you can put reviewed in ascending order, and it's gonna sort by unchecked flags and then checked flags. And you can reverse that by ascending or descending order however you would like to. If you're doing something like a drop down list, so for instance, these cells are drop down lists, you can see not started is the first value, in progress, and then completed. Completed actually is not um, first, it's not alphabetical. It goes by the way that these have been inputted into the column. So not started was put first, and then in progress, and then completed. That is how they're actually going to be sorted also. So if you go up, click on the column menu, and you go to sort rows, and we have status, sort ascending, and we hit OK. It's not going to sort them alphabetically. It's going to put not started because not started is the first option. And then it's going to put in progress and then completed. So we can see that here, not started, then in progress, and then completed at the end. If you wanted to change those, you would go up, select the column menu. You would go down to edit column properties. And here in the values, you would change those around. Let's just say that we took completed and we put that first and we hit OK. And then now let's do the same thing where we're going to sort the rows. Status in ascending order. We haven't changed anything and we hit OK. Now you can see completed is first. So it's important to understand that uh, Smartsheet is going to sort data differently based on the type of data that you're using. Again, go check out the Help Center for sorting and you'll, you'll see all the different data types and how they're sorted. Um, same thing with dates. It's going to send, uh, you can sort dates in ascending or descending order. So if we put do in ascending order and hit OK, it will sort those within their parents in that ascending order. So that is how we sort information inside of Smartsheet. But something else that you can do is you can actually sort um, by multiple columns. So let's say that we wanted to find um, all of the, you know, all of the states that are read first. Um, but then we also, out of those two, we wanted to find things that were completed and then in progress. Um, so let me show you what I mean. So we're going to go up and we are going to sort rows and we're going to sort the state in ascending order. And so remember, it's going to be red, yellow, green, but then we also want to sort our status and the status is the one that says completed, uh, in progress and so forth. And we want to put those in ascending order. So what it's going to do is it's going to sort this column first, and then it's going to sort the status column secondly based on this information. So when we hit OK, you will notice a couple things. So first, it's sorted red, yellow, green like we wanted to, and they put those in order. After it put those in order, it then said, OK, out of the two reds, let's sort the status column. And because completed is first now, we changed that value. Completed is on top and then in progress. Then out of the yellow values, not started is on top and then in progress. And then out of the green values, not started and then in progress. So it's going to actually look at this first and then it's going to look at this. So again, let's go to the due date. We'll look at this one more time. We'll hit sort rows. Let's say that we want to sort the due date in ascending order so that we have our dates. And then we want to sort, um, let's say our, our task names. No, let's say state again. We'll just leave it at state and hit okay. So it's going to sort your dates in order. And then when it finds duplicates like these two here, 912, it's going to put these by state in order. So red comes first and then green. So whenever you have multiple information, 
it's going to put those in that order. Let's say, let's go ahead and change this one and we'll make this one 912 also. We'll take a look at uh, one more time just to make sure that um, you really understand this because this is, this is a really cool feature to have. So we're gonna sort by due date, then we're gonna sort by state and we're gonna hit okay. So now we have 912, 912 and 912. So it sorted these in order. And then out of these, it says, okay, red is first, then yellow, then green. So that is how you can sort different information inside of Smartsheet. Uh, it's a great way to really keep track of everything and kind of see what you need. Um, and again, I refer you to the Help Center. If you go look for the sorting under the Smartsheet Help Center section, uh, you can find how all the different data types are sorted. Um, but basically, that's how you sort information inside of this application.